Hi, I'm Jess, and today I'm here to do my year one semester one wrap up of my first semester at university reading wise and um, the books I've read for my English and creative writing degree. And I did a reading list um, to be read thing at the beginning of the semester, and I will link that down below or on the end title thing. Uh, it'll be somewhere, and yeah, so this is just a wrap up of that, I guess. So yeah, I can't remember if I had read anything at the beginning when I made that video, but um, yeah, we will see. I'm just gonna re sort of review them because I didn't review all of them because some of them I didn't finish, but we'll get on to that. So I think I have all the books that I read and I'm gonna go through them one by one. <laughs> So first is the one that I might have read at the beginning when I made the first video and that is Behind the Scenes at the Museum by Kate Atkinson. I wrote my first uh, university essay on this. Um, I did not like this. I didn't finish it. I can't remember how far I got up to it but I wrote an essay on it and I didn't finish it which I'm quite ashamed of but also quite proud that I got a to do in an essay that I didn't read the whole book for. Um, but I wrote in, it's sort of about family relationships and throughout the years and it was okay but it's just, it's just not my cup of tea and it might be yours. It's really well written, I just didn't enjoy it and it's quite depressing and I just was not enjoying it at all. And uh, during the same week that I was reading Behind the Scenes at the Museum, I was reading a few stories from Ovid's Metamorphosis. Um, I read, I still have my bookmarks in here. I read Daphne, Ac Acteon, Arachne, Orpheus and Eurydice, and Midas. And I enjoyed the stories I did read, but I don't think I would ever read this whole thing just because they were not very intriguing. I enjoyed them mostly because of Percy Jackson and I definitely recommend reading a few of them for anybody who is really into Percy Jackson because they give a bit of context to the myths in Percy Jackson because that's what these are sort of, um, they're like the first written down incarnations of some of these tales and yeah I enjoyed it but I didn't love it but um, my creative writing assignment that I'm doing now is based off of this and most for our creative writing thing we use these as stepping stones for different narrative um, conventions and stuff so we use this for like Mist and Legends and that's what I'm writing for my assignment so I am writing on this sort of for my assignment so yeah. The second book we did for um, my English was uh, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. I had already read this last time so I won't say too much about this but I loved it and I think I'm gonna write it on it for my second assignment but I'm not entirely sure because it's not due until January so I'm gonna write it over Christmas and yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm writing on this, but who knows what I'm writing on yet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so after reading Ovid for creative writing, we read 101 sonnets, but I did not read the sonnets. I didn't read any of them at all. And I was just very busy that week. I can't remember why. I was just very busy and I didn't end up reading um, many of them. I think I read the first like 50 pages or something, but I didn't read many of them. I don't think I ever will, so I'm sad that I own this and I didn't read it, but I'm also like, there is no point in me reading this, and I'm not very interested in sonnets at all, and I didn't enjoy the seminars for that week because I don't want to write some, I don't want to write sonnets, so um, it was a bit of a difficult one for me. <laughs> After Northanger Abbey, we started on the importance of being a miss by Oscar Wilde. We didn't read the other plays in this um, Thing, but we did read The Importance of Being Ernest, which I quite enjoyed. It's a bit odd, but it's very short, so I definitely recommend reading it. It's very, like, punny, and it's got quite a lot of humour in it, but it's very absurd, and that's one of the points of it, but it's very absurd. And um, some people from my course went to see it as a play, and they thought it was very good, but I just don't see myself going to see it and enjoying it. It's just really wacky and weird, so, yeah. Um, that's this. And next for creative writing I read George Saunders the 10th of December. Again we read a few short stories from this collection so I haven't put it on Goodreads or anything because I didn't read the whole thing. Um, we read a short story called Puppy. A short story called Escape from Spiderhead. One called Exoneration. 
and one called the Semplica Gold Diaries and there was one more that was sort of a memo but I can't remember what it was. Um, they were weird, I will say that, and I'm sort of interested in reading the rest of them but I probably never will. Um, they're just very odd, like one of them is a story about in a world where girls are kept as like sculptures in back gardens and one was like when this guy was given a pill and would be really in love with this girl that was in the room with him and then they'd have sex and then they'd hate each other. It was just really odd, all of them. And yeah, it was just odd. Um, but I did enjoy writing the short stories when we did this. So I enjoyed it. I just think this was really odd. Um, next I'm going to go on to more creative writing ones because we read more creative writing ones than we did English ones and so we read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I had already read this so I didn't read it again because I just didn't see a point and so I didn't read it again but I did remember everything about it. I don't like Frankenstein. I just think I, I understand why it's meritable but I just don't enjoy it at all. I just don't yeah I just don't enjoy it. I'm no, I just don't enjoy it. I don't think it's horror at all. And I think people that say it's horror are focusing on movies and stuff and not this book because this book isn't horror. Then we read Top Girls by Carol Churchill, which was odd, but good. That is a lot of these books. It was odd. It's sort of a um, feminist um, political play, um, a very satirical um critique of Margaret Thatcherism and um it's very good if you if you read it in its context context because it's very funny in its context and you really hate one of the women and like one of the women in the context but without the context I think it's just an okay weird play that doesn't seem to have an ending. Next I'm back on to the English novels and that was Twelfth Night by Shakespeare and I was gonna write on this but I was so bored and I just could not understand it whatsoever. I'm just not good at Shakespeare I don't think and so I'm not I've not got opinions on this one but I wish I did because I wish I was intelligent enough to get this but I'm not properly intelligent enough to understand Shakespeare that well. So that's this but it's about a girl named Viola who dresses up as a boy and lots of people fall in love with the wrong people and it's a bit weird and yeah it's one of Shakespeare's comedies and mm. next for creative writing I read Never Let Me Go and I have a review of this because I loved it so so much and it's my joint favourite book that I read on the course and the next one is coming up soon and um i loved it i love the film i think the film is so well casted and so well done and this is so good and i will link my review down below and now we're on to the last books of each of the courses and the last book of um english was franz kafka's metamorphosis and other stories but we only read metamorphosis um i did enjoy it but it's a bit odd and I but I think there's a lot to say about it I'm not finished the actual lectures on it yet so we'll see what I think of it once I have done the lecture on it and then my last joint favorite is A Room by Emma Donahue which I love but I'm not even finished it yet but I can say it's my favorite my my joint favourite of the whole of my first semester. I just loved it so much. I'm not even finished. I'm like 100 pages off finishing and even though I finished studying it in class I'm gonna finish this one because I just love it. It's about a boy who has lived his entire life in this one room and I will be doing a review as soon as I finish it so look forward to that. So that was my wrap up for the first semester of university um book wise i might do a video if you're interested on my actual experiences of my first semester at uni and yeah i might do but i'm not too sure <laughs> and i will see you next time goodbye